Hello and welcome back to Kuraitu TV, the first ever online television addressing matters civic education. And on this episode, we're going to focus on the essence of electing new leaders and the need for practicing democracy. I am your host, Liz Akama. Let's get started. As a Kenyan who has attained 18 years and above, the first step to start off with is acquiring your identification card. And by this, you'll have an opportunity to register as a voter and vote in leaders who are competent and will continue governing us and making sure Kenya is actually growing and developing. With only seven months to election date, I encourage all of you to register as voters. And Kenya being a democratic country, there's a lot of responsibilities required of you as a citizen during before and after election before the election date as a citizen first you are required to register as a voter and confirm if you are actually registered prior to the election date and confirm who is actually vying for what position and if they really qualify for the same on the election date as a registered voter you need to cast in your votes and encourage any other registered voter to do the same on this day you need to keep peace and order and finally you should ensure that you vote in a leader who is competent and not be guided by your own self-interest a leader should aim at developing a whole community your responsibility as a voter does not only end after election because after election you can recall a leader who is incompetent and does not take his or her responsibility. Thank you for your time and up next we're going to be joined by Daniel Lovey who is going to tackle more about politics. Thank you very much, Liz Akama, for the brief introduction about the political desk. And I also want to say thank you, my viewer, for joining me. My name is Daniel Lovi. For voting, you are actually practicing the democratic process of electing a leader of your own choice. And these leaders, when they are elected, are also there to represent your idea, ideas or maybe to represent or maybe to show your interest as a citizen of Kenya. As we have said about voting, it's a way of participating or maybe exercising the political or maybe the democratic process at the same time you can also contact your government officials and also show them the need to change whether there is any law or maybe amend anything that you want as a citizen of kenya and how do you participate in this through voting or maybe participating in various groups that are in the community as a political participant activities that help you to develop a mindset they are major and they range variety of them one of them is about thinking about the disability or maybe the disabled other things is to do with social issues of an individual community family and as well as the state of the country one thing you need to understand or maybe put in mind is that you are supposed also to join with organizations to see how you can help each other and as far as you voting, as far as you are expressing your democratic rights, how are you supposed to do it? Even in campaigning, both local, regional, or maybe national, was to formulate a good governance so as to help the people of the state. How do you do that? It is by exercising the democratic process of electing the right leaders. In Kenya, we have several political leaders and several political parties. One of them is Jubilee that is aided by the head of state, that is President, His Excellency President Uru Kenyatta. We have the ODM that is aided by the leader of opposition, Raila Amolo Odinga. We have the Wiper Democratic Alliance that is aided by Kalonzo Musyoka. We also have the UDA party that is aided by the deputy president. We also have the Maendeleo Chap Chap added by the governor of Machakos County, Alfred Mutua, and many other political parties in Kenya. Aside from politics, we also have the IBC in our nation that is also mandated to carry on the elections in Kenya. And you know what? Elections are always carried or maybe are conducted in Kenya after every five good years. The constitution of Kenya requires that every general election should be conducted on each and every Tuesday of August after every five years. Apart from IBC, we also have the constitution. It is a written document that creates a government, formulates how a government should work, and also stipulates the government powers and its responsibilities. 
Under constitutions, its benefit is that it can be easily be consulted. It cannot be tempered with. Its content is easily understood. It also avoids dictatorship of the ruler. At the same time, it does not favor parts of the states. On the other hand, the constitution of Kenya reduces the clash or maybe the conflicts between the arms of the government. Under the constitution of Kenya, it also constitutes of other political systems, which are the presidential powers, judiciary, legislature, devolution, parties and election, as well as the progress of the country. So similar to the previous system, the 2010 constitution made a number of key changes designed to create more decentralized political system, particularly with respect to the limiting of presidential powers, and that is more of politics and the constitution of Kenya. Thank you very much for tuning in to this channel. My name is Daniel Lovi. Let's meet in the next episode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe onto this YouTube channel, Kurayetu.